Hey, everybody, Jim Powers with MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision as we visit with our coaches this week and joining us, the assistant coach from the women's soccer team, Lori Klopney. And, and Lori, a weekend that saw a split, nice road win up at Rensselaer against St. Joseph's, but then you, Wendy, kind of got out of the gate a little bit fast. We cut it to one, but just couldn't complete the comeback on Sunday. Yeah, I had a great game on uh, on Friday, um, and and we're up three goal three three nothing, which is a really nice lead to have in this league. It doesn't happen very often, so so it was nice to uh, to get up and get some players some rest, and then uh, yeah, Sunday, um, you know, Indy Indy's a good team. They they played uh, really tough. They they came out the first forty five and got two goals on us. We were able to cut the lead and really push for that tying goal late, but uh, we just couldn't couldn't quite get it. You know, the one thing that you guys have done such a great job on this year is scoring off of set pieces, especially the corners and throw-ins. You get a goal off of a corner kick, and then you get a header coming in off of a throw-in this past weekend. Talk about how you guys try and set those things up with the ladies. Well, we've got some great uh, some great targets, and, uh, and uh, you know, with the, the long throw, just, you know, Ashley's got – Got that that extra little bit, um, but uh, having Kaylee in the box uh, on on the corners is is definitely a threat, and uh, our our um, service has been really good as well. So uh, I feel that we're we are pretty dangerous on our corners, um, and, and uh, it's nice to get a goal off of the throw-in. We've kind of been knocking at the door, but we, this is the first one this year that we've gotten off of the throw-in. So so it was nice. You know, and, and I, it's great when you've got that height with Kaylee that you can bring up from the back. Bring her up in on these specialty situations because she's got enough speed to where if something doesn't happen, she can get back real quick and get back to that defensive line. Yeah, she's she's awesome. She's she's a great threat to have. Um, she reads the ball really well in the air and just uh, kind of a, a presence in there that they have a hard time dealing with. So uh, so we kind of we try and try and uh, come up with some plays to get her free, um, but that's definitely uh, the target for us. Hate to say must win, but three games left and all three, it seems like must win for us to get an opportunity for the postseason. Let's talk a little bit about Quincy first as you guys will travel up there on Friday. Yeah, we always uh, always have a good game against Quincy. Kind of kind of a rivalry for us. We've got a, a lot of girls on our team, no players on Quincy. So that's always a, a fun game. Um, and, and, yeah, you know, it, it is must win. We know where we're at, uh, but we look at it as a great opportunity to do something special here at the end. And then, obviously, last home game of the year on Sunday against Truman, Senior Day. What a great group of seniors we're going to honor on Sunday. We will miss them. They they were my first uh, senior group when I came in four years ago, um, and uh, so we'll we'll honor them on Sunday, uh, and also honor Joel, uh, uh, our former assistant coach. Um, and, and so it'll be it'll be kind of an emotional, but also a, a really special day for them. You know, a lot of people have been mentioning Joel. You you got to know him. I got to know him a little bit, but um, you know what a tremendous gentleman he was for our women's soccer team and the scholarship that is set up in his name is just absolutely tremendous yeah you know we uh we keep joel's memory alive uh within this team because he means so much to us and and to this program and and uh, we will continue to do that i feel bad with this with christian having you know the the first year and a half that he's had i'm looking through the record books and it seems like christian's getting ready to break all of joel's records yeah they're right there but but uh you know i think joel wouldn't want it any other way but to have somebody uh up there and fighting uh to break his records so that's great no doubt about it good luck this weekend we'll talk to you on sunday all right thanks we will have all the action on sunday for you on saints vision also the match on Friday night against Quincy will be on the Quincy Network, which is jlvcsn.com backslash Quincy. And you'll also be able to follow us on Twitter at Maryville Saints for all the action all weekend long. For Coach, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always, go Saints.